Hey guys, what's good? Triple J Boxing. So this is the Devin Haney Media Day workout. We're going to check it out. See how he looks. Um, Ryan Garcia's Media Day workout is on Tuesday. It is not um, today. So we're going to have to wait for until next week for that one in Dallas, Texas. This one's in the Wild Card Gym. Uh, Freddie Roach's gym. Where uh, Devin Haney trains quite a bit, actually. So uh, yeah, he's gonna he's doing a little bit of shadow boxing here. Now, media day workouts they don't really mean that much to be honest. It's just more of a promotion to get you, just so you can see how they generally look to get you hyped up. But like Devin's got his shirt on. We already know he's ripped though. That's the thing because the social media. I feel like back in the day. The media day workouts held more, like, I mean, they held more to them because there wasn't social media to really see exactly how they were doing. So you would really look forward to the media workout. But now, like, everyone's filming everything these days, like, their own social media. So you kind of ha already generally know how they're doing. But, uh, yeah, it's like... Still, though, I like to watch them. Gets you gets you more hyped up, I guess. But like, do they really mean that much? Unless they come in like a like a milk bag or like a big tub of lard, I feel like they really don't. You can't you can't take anything from it. Take it with a grain of salt, like they say, because you could just it could just be their off day and they're just taking it easy, or they just they don't want to show too much. Or maybe there some fighters want to show a lot, right? Um, but yeah, we're gonna find out here how De how Devin. Let's see how he looks. Looks like he's gonna do uh, the mitts next, or the that big body shield thing. What do you call it? The big pad. I don't even know what. What do you call those? Because I have one of them. I don't. It, it's the, one of those big pads that you do the power punching on. I guess it's a, just a big mitt. Devin's got the diamond earrings in. I, I really feel like you don't need that to be working out in. But I, I guess, yeah, it's not a fight or whatever. But yeah, he, he definitely... If you've seen his... Uh, DAZN 40 Days, I think it was. He does like spending his money on jewelry, watches. Because I think because he said, like, what else would I spend my money on? Which I guess when you get to that point and you have that much money, I guess maybe you do run out of things to spend your money on. So we can't really judge anybody the way they spend their money because you're not rich. So you can't say, oh, I would do this with my money, right? Or I would give it to th these people. I'd help out. Like, no, you can't really judge people unless you have that kind of money. And maybe, like... Maybe he is being charitable. I don't know, right? But uh, that that's the thing he likes to spend his money on. Uh, jewelry and watches. Not saying it's wrong or anything, but... Um, yeah. Just tying up his gloves here. This is in the wild card gym in Los Angeles. Yeah, so Oscar De La Hoya is here as well in the at the wild card. Um, Bill Haney's there. Okay, so yeah, they are getting that the shield. Okay, let's see how he looks. Like I mean, with Devin, there's not much to really expect for him. Like, like. It's pretty predictable that he's just going to be disciplined and he's been consistent, right? So it's not that exciting. Like, we're all our eyes are on Ryan because Ryan's been the one that's not his behavior is more inconsistent. He's had a more of a transformation lately, you know what I mean? So, all eyes are going to be more. I guarantee his Mia Day workout, way more people will be tuning in. Because Devin, look at Devin here. Very crisp, sharp shooting shots. Like, you know what to expect from Devin. He's going to bring it. He's disciplined. And, yeah, like, that's what, that's probably Devin's best quality is his hard work and discipline um, from what I've seen anyway. 
and he's just technically sound. But obviously his disadvantages are maybe he's not as he doesn't have the same dog in him as like a Terrence Crawford or a Gervonta Davis, right? Guys that not only are sharp and can box, but they're going for the kill like a dog. I feel like maybe Devin doesn't have that killer type instinct, which that's not his style, but he's never shown to do to go in for the kill when someone's hurt. Um, but yeah, maybe that's just his style. He plays it safe. That's what he does best, right? Whereas Crawford or Ter or uh, Gervonta, even Ryan, they have that. Uh, they obviously have more power, right? And uh, they will use that to their advantage. And they have more of that killer instinct. They don't play it as safe. And uh, I bring up Terrence Crawford because he boxes just as well. I bring up Gervonta Davis because uh, obviously they all have their own different style and different body frame. But both uh, Terrence Crawford and, and Gervonta Davis are a good example because they are very good boxers, good movers as well, but they have that killer instinct. And I feel like that's the one disadvantage of a Devin Haney, which could be to his benefit, though. It could be a... It's not necessarily a disadvantage because it's working for him, but I'm saying if I had to pick, like, one thing that he's missing, I guess, right? He's missing that dog that goes in. The dog in him... I'm not saying, When I say the dog in him, I don't mean, like, he can't take pain or he won't dig down. I'm saying he doesn't have that killer instinct like these other guys, but maybe he just don't have the power. So he don't, he don't have it. Right. Um, but Devin does a lot of things good. Like he's very accurate, very sharp. And like I said, his discipline is very good. And a lot of people, they bring up the Regis pro grade, how he dropped them. Oh, he's got power all of a sudden. And they try to contribute that to him moving up in weight. I, but I think not only I do think the weight helped Devin Haney, but I think it's more of like, um, I would say it's more. Sorry guys, I'm just lost track of thought there by watching. Yeah, Devin's looking pretty sharp. He's looking pretty sharp. Yeah, so it's not. Oh yeah, this is what I was gonna say. So it's not that like the weight obviously did help him feel more comfortable, but I don't I don't think that's where he got the power from. A lot of people are saying that. Oh, he's got power now because he moved up. No, he's got power. It appeared like he has power because he dropped Regis Prograde because Regis Prograde was so below him in a level and like levels below him that he he looked like a total amateur. It was like a sparring match. One guy was just so many levels above that it made it appear like the guy had more power because he dropped him. But he dropped him because he was landing so clean on a guy who was very slow footed and did he, he was just it, it's like a professional fighting an amateur essentially that's what it would look like it looked like Reeves Prograde was a sparring partner for Devin let's be honest here and like I said I'm not that that's actually makes Devin look good but I'm saying though I don't think it was power that dropped really Regis Prograde it was more technique and now I mean like it's like if I go in I'm the strongest like guy in the gym but I have no experience and I fight a guy who's a pillow puncher if he lands clean he might draw me because my positioning's off i don't know what i'm doing so like there might be flash knockdowns and that's essentially what happened it's not like he really hurt regis it's just regis was just had nothing for him but that's my opinion on it guys good one two Yeah, see, he's just a fundamentally sound, does everything good. Um, like, everything, like, good technique is what I mean. Like, obviously, no fighter's perfect. And like I said, like, I brought up the killer instinct and the punching power. That would be things that he's missing, but he's got strong legs, good, good jab, good right hand, solid defense. Now, did I think he beat Lomachenko? No, I didn't, but I mean, to even compete with Lomachenko, you got to be good. And the fact that he was even competitive with Lomachenko, you got to give Devin Haney credit. Um, but yeah, I didn't think he won that fight. But like I said, um, if you can even compete with a Lomachenko and do well, you belong there. So Ryan has never fought a Lomachenko. 
Lomachenko type fighter. So we don't know how Ryan would have did against Lomachenko. Maybe he would have got blown out by Lomachenko. Maybe he would have knocked out Lomachenko. And we don't know how Tank would do against Devin, right? That's the thing. So 